Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed one last summer tutorial for you guys. I am so excited to be moving into the fall and winter tutorials. Um, I will miss the bright colors and the fun summer looks, but I'm so ready to start doing it dark and dramatic and holiday looks and you know, all of the winter looks. So yeah, I filmed this look for you guys today. It's a super dramatic halo eye with a bright pink lip. I figured this would be fun to do just as a last tutorial for a summer. It's something different and to be honest, I think that this is my all-time favorite eye makeup look that I have ever done. This, it just turned out so pretty and I'm just so in love with it. So I really hope you guys like it too. And if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to be starting out, of course, by moisturizing my face with my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, and then I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Face Primer. Just doing my regular face priming routine, so nothing new for this. And then for foundations, I'm going in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus and Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. The Wet n Wild one is about a shade too light and the Maybelline one is about three shades too dark. So I'm using mostly the Wet n Wild one with just a little bit of the Maybelline to add a little bit more yellow to it and make it neutral and to match my skin color. And then to highlight my face, I'm going in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and also in the center of my face, like I said, to highlight and conceal. And I'm also putting it on my eyelids just to prep my eyes for my eyeshadow. I do like to use concealer as my eyeshadow primer because it conceals as well as primes my eyelids. And then to set all of that down, I'm going in with my NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. This is my favorite setting powder for my concealer because it is a banana powder so it will add a little bit extra highlight to that area that I was already trying to highlight. And then to set the rest of my face, I am of course going in with my CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. And then moving on to my eyes, I am going in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I'm first taking these two shades right here, Silk Cream and Pooter. And I'm just taking those on a big fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just dusting those right into the crease as my first transition shades. And I'm just blending on back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Like I said, just as a transition shade so that the other colors that we are going to be using will have something to blend on. Next, I'm taking the shades Butter and Pukey on another fluffy brush. This is the Morphe uh, M441 blending brush and I'm just taking that just like I did the other two shades and I'm just dusting those right over top of it just to deepen up the crease, add a little bit more color and dimension. Next, I'm going in with Chip and Mocha, and as you can tell, I do enjoy mixing shades together on my brush rather than layering them on my eyes. So I'm taking those two on a Morphe M433 blending brush and just starting to deepen up the crease with those. I'm sticking those directly into the crease and I'm trying not to go above it. And it is okay if you get a little bit on the lid. You can be sloppy with this because we are going to go in with a lid shade that is going to cover that up. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going in with this really deep purple shade. It is in the shade Soda Pop. And I'm just going to take that and start carving out my outer V and also dragging it slightly up into the crease. And then I'm also going to take it and put it in the inner corner, like the inner third of my eye. And then I'm going to connect it across the crease, creating the halo effect. So I went to keep the area on the center of my lid completely free of any eyeshadow so that we can put that really pretty pop of color on the center of the lid just to make this look completely come together. So right here I'm just connecting them together, like I said, to make a halo. And then I'm just taking the brush that I used before this, the Morphe M433 brush, and I'm just blending any harsh edges out and making sure that everything seems perfect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Next I'm going in with the shade Obsessed and I can see why she called this one Obsessed because it is such a pretty color. It's like a silver metallic-y with some gold undertones so it's just such a pretty color. And I'm just taking that and putting it right on the center right there where we didn't have any eyeshadow. And then I'm taking a clean small blending brush and just making sure that everything blends together. I don't want to blend it too far into the eyeshadow but I also don't want to have any harsh lines. So I'm just making sure that everything is all seamless and that, yes that there are no harsh lines. And I wanted to add just a little bit more color to this, so on just a small blending brush, I'm taking the shade Creamsicle, and I'm just very lightly blending out the top of the crease, just to, like I said, add a little bit more color, and just to also make sure that there are no harsh lines and that everything is all blended out. And then I'm taking the two highlight shades in her palette. These are in light and beam. And I'm taking those and highlighting my brow bone and also my inner corner. And just a little tip, um, I wasn't too fond of this when I finished it. Um, I kind of wish that I had left out the highlighting with the shimmer shades at least just because I felt like it was a little bit too much and it was kind of taking away from the center of the lid. So just be very diligent when you highlight if you do. And then going into my lower lash line, I am taking the shade Soda Pop, that dark shadow again. And I am just pushing that into my lower lash line really high up, making sure that it's right up against those lower lashes. And then going back in with Mocha on a small blending brush, I'm just going to start to blend out that darker color underneath my lower lash line. And then with Silk Cream, I'm just going to blend everything out and make sure that there are no harsh lines and just really smoke out this look. And I'm making sure that I drag it up and connect it to the upper lash line or the upper eyelid and just making sure that everything's all connected and smoked out. And then I'm just going to coat my upper and lower lashes with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and just get them prepped for the false lashes that I'm going to put on. And then to warm up the skin, I'm going in with my MAC Give Me Sun. And like I said, I'm just warming up the skin, kind of like where I would contour my face, but I'm just kind of bronzing all over the face, not really making anything neat. I'm just kind of doing the C around the face and just putting it up on my forehead, cheekbone, and jawbone. And I know I forgot to zoom out, but I realized that in just a second, so we will zoom out in like 
two seconds. Ready, set, go. And then for blush, I am going in with Milani Romantic Rose Blush. It's just a really pretty neutral blush that I am just putting on my cheeks. And then with a duo fiber brush, I am just blending everything out and making sure that everything is seamless. And for a highlighter, I am taking the Solstice Palette from Sleek makeup cosmetics and I'm just taking those two lower shades and putting them on my cheekbones and the high points of my brow bones down the center of my nose on my cupid's bow and also in the center of my chin. And then just to top off the high points of my cheekbones, I am going in with Blow A Fuse from the Smashbox and Casey Holmes Pearl Palette. And then for lashes, I am going in with Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. They're just a nice and natural lash. I didn't want to do anything too intense that would cover up this makeup. So just doing a nice natural lash. And then going in with the Maybelline Gel Waterproof Liner. And I'm just lining my upper and lower water lines just to deepen and darken everything up. And then for lips, I'm going in with the Essence Lip Liner in number 12, Wish Me a Rose. And I'm just lining my lips and also filling them in with this really pretty kind of bright pink lip pencil. And then to top it off, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Tokyo. It's just a baby doll pink and this will top off the look. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more highlighter to my cupid's bow because I feel like sometimes I cover it up when I overline my lips. But then that will complete this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on the fun fall videos that I have planned. And thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.